I'm going to go south and east, see if I can get around these things. Ah, god damn! Come on, lose the brute, lose the brute. I'm heading northeast now, and I'm just going to run until I can't run anymore. No way am I dorking around when there's those kinds of things in the area. All right, hardware store and parking lot. I never did get a... That is the hardware store I looked at, actually. So, all right, I'm just going to go due east for a while. i got to clear those things, make sure I'm out of their range. All right, I'm going to stop running now. What's our temperature doing now? Still got the chills. Our arms are the coldest. Everything else is acceptable. All right. Got to remind remind myself to drop that... Uh, where are you at, Shocker? 42 to the southwest. All right, we're going to still stay well away from you. Whoa. Didn't realize I was that close to these buildings. Um, all right, keep going to the west. I'm going to be so happy if I can get to that garage, get my gear, and then get out of this town. I think I've got a shot at staying alive with this challenge if I can manage this. If I can get into that garage and get my main gear out of it again. Uh, Alright, pain's coming down. Let's take an aspirin just in case. And we're still full, so I don't need anything there. Alright, I'm going to give... Alright. Itchy Bionics. I'm going to give the town a pretty wide berth, so if I let out one of those noise blasts again, I pull the minimum amount of stuff to me. But I need to charge right in and get my gear out. Too bad it's in the back corner of the garage. I've got to go all the way through the garage to get to my stuff. So anything I pull in after me, unless I go out one of the uh, main garage doors with the winch, I'll have to go right back past them if I draw something in with me. All right, I'm going to start angling back in again here. So I'm going diagonal southwest now. Three o'clock, so I think time wise I'll make it. Alright, we're on the road. I keep going straight in. Please don't meet anything. I'm hoping the um, explosions that we were hearing earlier to the northwest of the garage drew all of the zombies that direction. So my hope is that this side is going to be clear. So close. Alright, do I smash these and go in this way? I think I do. With the noise I make anyway, I think that's fine. Alright, now we got to make some more hard choices. Oh crap, really hard choices. Alright, drop right here. What can I leave behind? Technically, I can leave the batteries. Oh man. This is really going to suck. I've got just over, just over one liter, oh, a liter and a half of space. Not quite a liter and a half. Got about 1.6. Uh, The Atomic Coffee Maker is nice, but I've got a stove down there and plenty of fire making capacity, so technically I don't need it. I need my noise canceling headgear. That's non debatable because I won't be able to sleep without it. That cuts me down to 1.2 left over, so anything down below this I could do. I can make another wooden needle, that's no big deal. Not worried about that. I would really like my rice though. So we'll take that. Don't care about those. Take the Prozac. So 
I've got 0.9 left. I could still take the coffee maker. Gonna have to leave the welder behind. That's gonna be for another trip. So I, oh, I forgot I've got the large sealed stomach. I really need to take that with me. Yeah, yeah. I think I'm going to leave the tailor's kit behind for the large stomach. Tailor's kit's nice, but uh, I don't have the skills to really take advantage of it yet. All I need is the uh, wooden needle and some thread for now for the low-level crafting that I'll be doing. Um, so we'll leave the welder. And the tailor's kit really is the only things that I, I'm really anxious to come back and get. We'll do another night run and come up and grab that stuff. Uh, I've got not quite enough to grab the wooden needle. Uh, I'll just leave the rest. And we'll take the strings. Alright, so we're 10.38 out of 10.5. Nothing else realistically I can take. But we've improved our situation substantially. We've got a cooking pot. We've got a plastic bottle. We've got a big bag of bologna. Uh, we got the gallon jug of milk, cell phone, coffee maker. Yeah. Alright, let's get out of here. And I'm just going to go due southeast before we make another noise. Turn safe mode on. All right, I think we are relatively safe. Now it's just down to random stuff. I'm going to go straight south for a bit, then I'll cut down in between the road and the hospital. I don't want to meet up with that stuff I dodged on the road earlier, so I'm going to kind of skirt the hospital and then the forest just south of it. <laughs> Goddamn spitters! I don't want to fight a spitter while I've got this stuff, uh, my torso encumbrance at 55. Run mode. Turn off safe mode. Stupid spitters are everywhere around the hospital. Alright, we hit the corner. Let's go away from the thing a little ways. A little further. All right, now I'm going to go straight south. Uh, we'll go back to walk mode, safe mode on, and we'll just fast move again. All right, so now we're skimming the trees. Once I get south of them, I'm going to cut back in. All right, now we're going southeast. I think we're going to make it. 4 a.m. Looking good. Due south, back to the cabin. Ah! <laughs> Moose! Do I kill the moose? I'd have to drop my pack, then fight it. I can't carry anything, so the meat is questionable. I'd have to kill it, go drop my stuff off, then come back up and get the meat. Um, I'm not worried about encountering anything else. I think I'm going to try to kill it. I'm going to say drop right where I'm sitting. The sling. He's probably going to get some attacks in, so this is going to suck a bit. Alright, but we dodged and blocked, dodged and blocked, dodged and blocked. <laughs> so, dodging of four to begin with is awesome. <laughs> Alright, let's try to stab us a moose. A moose. Turn off safe mode. Hit for 16. We dodged again. Hit for 17. We dodged and blocked. Hit for 18. We dodged. Wow, moose are not dangerous when you got to dodge a four, apparently. Hasn't hit me yet. We got a critical puncture that time for 21. He's severely injured. 
All right, now I need a big hit to finish him before he starts running. There we go. Well, that was awesome. All right, um, let's... I'm going to leave the corpse alone for the now, so let's... Whoops. Map. Map. Note. Moose. Corpse. We'll come back during the daytime to find that and get him... looted up. Alright, and we are back on our way. Safe mode back on. Uh, hello? Oh, that's that shock zombie that I pulled out and killed originally. <laughs> and we... Malfunctioning bionic causes you to spasm and fall to the floor. You're stunned. You're knocked to the floor. <laughs> Yet another glorious benefit of the malfunctioning bionics. We are back home. Oh, can't believe we actually made it. That was a scary trip to that town up north. All right, we are back in the cabin. Situation is a little better now, though. And first thing we're going to do is... Now, how am I going to do this? I'm really tired. Probably going to go dead tired here pretty soon. But I've only got a couple more hours before the sun comes up. I'm trying to think ahead. Do I need to get some stuff done when the sunlight comes up immediately? Or do I sleep out the day away? And then make another run at night up to the town to grab that other stuff. No. No, we do not. Um, let's unload all the random stuff and I'll sort it out afterwards. Alright, so all the random stuff's down. Let's drop the sling as well for now. All right, so I've got the ability to make a fire. Um, I don't have any good food items except for that moose I just killed. I do have a cell phone though, so I can set an alarm, get eight hours of sleep, and that would still get me up at noon. Um, how to do this. I think that's what I'm going to do. Let's head down to the bed. Make sure all the windows are closed. Grab the blanket. Activate the blanket. And then shift it back onto the bed. Wear. Oops, can't wear it with our other helmet. So take off uh, the hooded hard hat. Sure. Alright, so we've got our noise cancelling headgear on. I do still have my cell phone. Yes, I do. Okay. Not hungry or thirsty at the moment. Let's see just how much sleep we can get with the acid discharge constantly zapping us and the other effects. See if we can actually sleep. That's the other big problem with the broken cyborg is you've got acid discharges, you've got shocks that stun you and knock you down, you've got the noisemaker, all of which cause problems for trying to sleep consistently. Which, especially if you don't have the fast healer trait, means you never heal. So damage you take stays damage unless you're using bandages and first aid kits constantly to uh, get rid of or to repair the damage. Um, so you can't rely on easy sleeps to uh, get yourself back up to full health. So let's see just how effective this is. I've got the noise canceling headgear on, so the noisemaker shouldn't affect me. Um, got the room sealed off, so I shouldn't get any light. I don't need a blindfold. Unless something comes smashing through the window, which will annoy me tremendously. 
Yeah, let's do it. So sleep, and I'm going to sleep for eight hours. And <laughs> there we go. We woke up already. I don't think we even got 20 minutes in. <sighs> Half the discharge woke us up. Try again. So it's 450. We made it to 540, almost an hour. <laughs> oh man. Uh, let's go seven hours now. So it's 538. We made it to. Whoa, look at that. We made it to 830 that time. All right, so we did get hit a few times, but you can see our health. It's pretty much always going to be this condition. So the acid discharge is going to hit us regularly, which will knock it down to that status. So that's basically full health for me. And then my fast healing ticks it back up, but then it gets knocked down again by the acid discharge. So I'll consider that to be full health. Um, pain is almost gone. That's just because we got recently zapped, but that's a huge improvement. I was able to sleep until the time I... Well, actually, I woke up at 8.30. I was trying to sleep until 12.30. Um, let's see if it'll let me sleep again. Uh, another four hours if it'll manage it. All right, 11 o'clock. We'll say that's good enough. I'm not going to improve my health any, and I'll just get hungrier and thirstier. So uh, mainly I'm just trying to push off when I'm going to get uh, tired again. All right. Uh, yeah, you're right, Maya Sofa. I would not have heard the alarm. <laughs> totally forgot about that. All right. But, like, as we just found, there's no chance I was going to sleep for 10, un 10 uninterrupted hours anyway, or 8 hours, however. All right. So, the conditions aren't going to get any better than that. Whoops. Let's uh, drop onto the bed. The noise-canceling gear. Grab the hooded hat again. All right, and let's open the window. All right, anything I can craft? I don't think I've added anything useful to the list here. No, I'm not going to make a pot helmet. Thank you very much. All right, I've got the stone tools available. Didn't manage to get any soap while I was gone. Alright, nothing I care about right now. Um, so let's go get that uh, moose corpse real quick before I do anything else. So deer and squirrel are the only thing in sight. Uh, now we have a wolf in sight. Raccoons, possums, all right, here we go, moose corpse, butcher. All right, I want the meat. Ah, damn it, I forgot to bring my... <laughs> got to bring my uh, sling. Lovely, all right, we'll make another trip. That's just Vorm being Vorm. Yeah, let's go get the rest of our goods. These back-to-back -back discharges, really? At least he's easy to find, being due north. Alright, I want the fat, I want the pelt, and I want the bones. Next, we're going to drink a bunch of milk till it's empty, and then I'm going to go to the river and fill up either the gallon jug or my uh, large skin. Now I can make another one actually. Alright, uh, let's drop this off as well. And... Alright, I've got 10.5 capacity with the sling. I want to go ahead and eat from the gallon jug of milk. All right, so I got at least one to two more good oops, uh, 
broths out of that gallon jug of milk. Plus I have some water still in the toilet, so I'm not going to make the river run quite yet. Alright, uh, the milk and the chunks of meat are the things that will go bad the fastest. So, let's next... I think I'm going to go scavenging. I'll do a little bit of scavenging in the forest now that I've got some carrying capacity. Um, that way hopefully we can bring back some stuff. And um, from there, we'll see if we can get some better food made. Oh, I'm so happy right now. All right, let's get rid of that note. And I'm going to run down here. Check what's left of the moose parts that I left previously. Anything else I want to take with me? No. Alright, let's head that way. We'll grab those moose parts and uh, do some hunting and some scavenging. I don't want to mess with black rats. Where are you guys at? Stay away from me, rats. Those guys constantly give me, or get, bite me and uh, give me bite wounds. Alright, there's the moose I killed. Alright, fat still good. Great. Alright, and then while we're down here, we'll just scavenge this area. Any items nearby? Critters fleeing. There is a dog to the northwest. Not going to worry about him. No other items. Alright. Oops. Ah, plant fiber. Don't really care about that. Bird's eggs. Oh. <laughs> Scared the crap out of me for a second. Didn't realize I was hallucinating again. Hello, human snail. Hello, alpha razor claw. <laughs> Hello, fungal ant. I'm just going to ignore you all. Okay, fungal ant. <laughs> Irritating me. I uh, don't need any of that. Really, I just... Uh, that could possibly be real. Look at that dog. That's what I'm looking for, really. The wild vegetables and... Uh, Herbs and spices and stuff. Come here, dog. Come here, doggy dog. Come here, you. Oh, yeah, I've got that sling on. Alright, good. I'm getting close to full already. I'm going to have to stop. Or uh, be a little more picky about what I grab. Whoa, hello you guys. Yeah, chase the chipmunk. Leave me alone. Ah. <laughs> now i got a raccoon coming at me. Don't tase me, bro. That web spider. Dog's fighting squirrels. Now the dog and the spider are going to start fighting. And I've got this raccoon coming at me. There we go. Time is good. Yes. Uh, really? You guys are going to be punks as well? Just too much. I um, think I will go ahead and leave. I'll leave the pelt and the plant fiber and the pine cone. 
9.3, okay, that still gives me a little bit of room. Come on, you. <laughs> yeah, you're being irritating. Ah, spider's coming. Run mode. Leave me alone, spider. Alright, more dogs. How's our survival skill doing? We're up to 17%, uh, so we're get, not getting hardly any survival skill out of this now. That's what it was from my memory. I figured that was about as much skill-wise as I was going to get. There we go. More time. <laughs> Barbed wire. I think I'm going to consider that good enough. We're just south or east or west of our cabin. Drop this stuff off. Pretty good run. Okay, let's now go grab. Um, grab the coffee maker and the sealed stomach. And I don't remember how much that thing can hold. Um, let's just do two for now. Consume. Yes. Three liters. Uh, I think that's six doses of water. Can't remember the conversion. Alright, so that's six. I'll call that good enough for now. Alright, what else can we do here? Let's check our food now. Oh yeah, gotta get some... Gotta get a regular fire going. Uh, so here to... There. Splintered wood and a 2 by 4 should do it. Supply. Lighter. Okay, yay! We got cooked rice, cooked wild vegetables. Pretty nutrition. Two days to rot. Um, I don't have any way of preserving the food yet. Um, if I am going to plan on living here in the cabin for a while, I'm going to need to get some rocks to get the charcoal kiln put together down in the forest and uh, get a drying rack set up or a smoking rack so that is definitely on my list I prefer to burn a building down to get rocks and nails but uh, buildings are pretty far away from me right now so for the moment I think I'm just going to 